In this video, I will show you how to connect your PS5 controller to GTA 5 on PC on Epic Games. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see, on the Epic Games launcher. Now, if you actually come up to the top right hand corner and press onto your profile icon and come into the settings, I've had a look, but it's not actually an option on here to sort of change the controller or anything like that. So I've been looking into this and there's a workaround that I found. So what you're going to want to do is actually have Steam installed. So once you've got Steam installed, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into your account and come up to the top left hand corner and go ahead and press onto library. From here, what you're going to want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner and you've got an option here which says add a game. So go ahead and give this a click and what you want to do is click on to add a non Steam game. So from here, this is going to load up a window and it's going to locate all the different apps and programs on your device. So what you're going to want to do is select the Epic Games launch from here and take the box and then just go ahead and press the blue add selected programs button here as you can see that's now been added to our library over here on the left hand side now what we're going to do next is left click onto the epic games launcher and before we go ahead and launch this through steam you're going to want to right click onto the epic games launcher in your game list here and then in the menu that pops up you want to click onto properties from here you're going to get a window like this and if you look there's actually an option for controller so just go ahead and click onto controller and then from here as you can see there's some default controllers enabled so the steam controller remote play and the xbox controller now to go ahead and add playstation you can see a link here which says use the controller configurator go ahead and click onto this link and what that's going to do is load up a window like this so as you can see it says controller configuration for your user's steam inputs a system that translates your physical inputs into commands for the game this allows you to play any game even if it wasn't designed for your particular controller or does not support game pads commands can be any kind of input that games use a b button on the game pads the enter key a left mouse button click and so on so all you need to do from here is go ahead and press next and once you've connected your ps5 controller to your pc through the usb-c cable what you're going to want to do is map your playstation controller from here so once you've gone ahead and done that what you're going to want to do is change this box here where it says use default settings and just go and click on to enable steam input as you can see we can now use the playstation controller this is enabled per the game override and of course it's going to be configured as we did that earlier using the controller configurator so once that's done, all you need to do is close this down, press play on the Epic Games Orchard from here. And again, it might come up with this if you've not done so already. So you just want to go ahead and program your controller and just go ahead and click through. And once that's done, what it's going to do is basically launch the Epic Games Orchard through Steam. You can see this has loaded through. And of course, from here, you just come into your game library, go ahead and choose GTA 5 from here, and you'll be able to go ahead and use your PS5 controller to play GTA 5 on the Epic Games launcher. So that is how to go ahead and connect your PS5 controller to GTA 5 on PC using the Epic Games launcher and Steam. I hope this tutorial did help you out today, and if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said i just want to take a minute thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see you in the next video